customizing the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar plays an important role for accessing frequently used commands. This is a new feature of Office 2007. The Quick Access Toolbar is placed in the Title Bar. It contains crucial commands for both file management and formatting options present in PowerPoint. If you want to use any option frequently, this Quick Access Toolbar is very helpful. Let us click this arrow to see the default list of commands available. These tick marked options are currently present in the toolbar. If we want to add or remove, just click the option you want. If you want to add some more commands to this list, click the More Commands option. Doing that opens a new panel with lots of commands. In this panel, let's concentrate in the right area. Here is a list containing all of the tabs present in PowerPoint. This bottom scroll window contains respective tabs, commands, options, and so forth. For instance, let us choose Insert Tab in the Choose Command From list box. Immediately, the scroll window displays the commands and options that are available in the Insert tab. Then, we can select our desired command and click this Add button. And finally, click the OK button. Now you can see the added command in the Quick Access Toolbar. I'm going to open the Customize window for removing a command from the Quick Access Toolbar. If you want to remove a command, Choose a command that you wish to remove, then click the Remove button. The selected command is removed. This is exclusively for customizing the workplace or to work efficiently. Later, if you want the default commands to return to the Quick Access Toolbar, you can click the Reset button. Now, PowerPoint asks you whether you are going to restore the Quick Access Toolbar or not. Click Yes the inserted command is removed from the added list box. And finally, click the OK button. Last but not least, there are two more options present in the drop-down menu. They are Show Below the Ribbon and Minimize the Ribbon. These are the commands used to customize the ribbon menu or workspace. I advise you not to customize anything in the Quick Access Toolbar until you are very proficient at it. Working with Screen Tips Screen Tips give you a brief description of the function of any button on the ribbon by moving your mouse over the button. You can also configure Office 2007 to show you keyboard shortcuts within Screen Tips. Activating Screen Tips By default, the Screen Tips are activated. To train you well, I have deactivated the Screen Tip. To activate the Screen Tips, follow these steps. Click the Office button and click the PowerPoint options. From the Categories pane, select Popular. It will be selected by default. In the Task pane, under Top Options for Working with PowerPoint, from the Screen Tip Style pull-down list, select Show Feature Descriptions in Screen Tips. Click OK. The Tool Tips function for buttons on the Command tab is now activated. Showing Shortcut Keys. After activating the screen tips, I'm going to tell you how to show or hide shortcut keys within the screen tips. Click the Office button, then click on PowerPoint Options. The PowerPoint Options dialog box appears. In the Categories pane, select Advanced. In the Task pane, from the Display section, select Show Shortcut Key in Screen Tips. Click OK. The shortcut keys for buttons on the ribbon are now visible within Screen Tips. Viewing Screen Tips Hold the mouse over any button. A screen tip appears for the selected button. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. By learning how to activate the screen tips in PowerPoint, many more interesting options are to come. Using the Status Bar you can view the information for your PowerPoint presentation by right-clicking in the status bar. This is located across the program window and will give you the information about the current presentation. 
Now, let's talk about the status bar, an important screen component of Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. There are several options available in the status bar. The first tab contains the information about the number of slides in the presentation. We can also see the current slide number, as well as how many slides are totally available in the presentation. The second tab contains the name of the theme used in a slide. On the right side, several tools are displayed. They are called Views. The first view is called the Normal View. It is the default view, which is currently what we see. Following the Normal View is the Slide Sorter View. After the Slide Sorter View, there's a special tool called the Slideshow Tool. It is mainly used to run a presentation. The other tab is called Zoom Out and Zoom In. This is used to increase or reduce the view size of our slides. The last tab in the list is Fit to Current Window. This is used to fit the slide within the window. For example, you can restore a slide to its original size by using this tool.